Hi, my name is Brittany J. Jones. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to do a lapped seam. Let's get started. To demonstrate a lapped seam, I will be using these two pieces of fabric here. I have both of the right sides of the fabric facing up. So whether you have a print or you have a solid that you've had to place a little mark on, indicating which side is the right side, make sure that you have the right sides facing up. I've gone ahead on one piece of fabric and I've stitched along our seam line at a 5 of an inch seam allowance. On the other fabric here, I've done the same 5 of an inch stitch. And then I press that one under with the raw edge going toward the wrong side of the fabric. I will say that these stitches as a guide are optional. You do not have to place this stitch onto your fabric. And for this one, I do recommend that you just use a ruler to transfer your markings with a marking tool. And here's why. With the right sides facing for the lap seam, you take the piece of fabric that you have pressed under using your 5 8 of an inch seam allowance you press under the seam allowance and you just lap it right over the other fabric matching up the seam allowance. And then we will be stitching at a quarter of an inch. So if you have this stitch, once it's sewn, you will be able to see it. But just for this demonstration, I placed a stitch here. Again, I recommend just using your ruler and marking out your seam allowance, or you can even just press it. That way you just see where your seam line is. Once you have the folded seam allowance placed over your other seam allowance like so, you can grab some pins to place in this to hold it in place. And now we can stitch this down using a straight stitch at a quarter of an inch. And so here is the final lapped seam. It adds a really fun element to your garments. <laughs> 